welcome back to another counterside video so today's video we're going to be discussing additional leaks incoming updates as far as october first week um for those who haven't seen um a first part that i did yesterday i'll put a link up there somewhere up there i'm not sure where but uh, if you want to see that that's actually a small portion of the leaks that are coming in so we'll start with this one so again this is going to start on september 22 so this is going to be rumored for southeast asia so we have a event so it's a summer day summer of destiny event so duck ship is one of the rewards in this event so it's going to be released probably a week and a day from today because tomorrow the update is actually more or less a rerun plus a new counter pass so we're going to get this a week and a day so that's it next is you're going we're going to have summer skins so we'll have a skin for Liv allen karen wong is actually a rerun already of um her skin her swimsuit skin so more or less uh for you guys who have her already um there are a lot of options here you have your edit twins which we'll be getting tomorrow um Liumi is here of course um yen shing is already here so that is actually more or less i think a lot are looking forward to uh Rosa rosalia is going to be here as well and yun chi yung is going to be here so a lot of options for this um summer skins um i like the one also with Liv karen so again um <laughs> knock yourselves out guys so these are the skins as you can see here this is the one that i mentioned in the previous video that i made so the alpha tricks innovation challenge the dorm is going to be up as well ui reworks um a lot of things are going to happen on september 22. next is going to be um our uh what do you call this our awakened ssr so a lot have been asking me who is the next ssr awakened ssr so who is the next so we have your answer here and it's actually in the thumbnail so it's going to be CEO yun which is going to have her awakened form also on september 22 so guys save up because again um this could be bloody um summoning for her um especially if you're free to play um again um this is going to be a wild and chaotic september 22 so um I'll mention, you know, I'll, I'll take a look at her kit later. Let's just browse through uh, all of the events for um, September 22. So we're finally going to get Frederick Doma and Frederick Yuna. So they're also rumored to be out, but they're in the game already. They're just not activated somehow. They're in the, the collection. Then a couple of reruns so that you could plan your summons. Um, it's important to know what our... The banners that are coming out up, up to october uh, the first week of october because again um once you are at this part we don't have any regular summons yet so for jushio if you want to summon for her she's going to have a rerun um also for liu mi she's going to have her own rerun so if you you have her uh, ready then you go to the next there's also a summer event part two and skins part two so um awakened uh lee jisoo is going to be here you have here chifuyu shinatsu elizabeth yumina and edel there are a lot of also good skins here to look forward to for me personally i'd go with uh, chifuyu probably with the uh, lee jisoo um there are a lot um even elizabeth i like uh, her skin here so again you have to save up guys you have to plan this because you can't get everything unless you're a whale want to purchase every every swimsuit that they have well be my guest but again these events have to be planned in advance next is going to be future at war janus or janus so as of uh, september 29 so it starts here in the summer event part two so again 22 29 you will have a lot so i would suggest for those who have the you know for those who have um, the previous banners already or the units for the previous banners you save up for janus here because 
Um, this is a new unit. We'll talk about Janus later. I'll discuss. Let's just finish this, guys. Um, I'm really excited to show you all of these. So there's also a rerun uh, for the banner for Rosaria. So again, for those who have have it gotten her for my free to play account i'd probably go with rosaria than than the others um rosaria is actually a must for my free to play so for free to play i'm going to look for her i'd rather um someone for rosaria than janus because i don't have any mechs for my free to play account then we also have for september 29 to round this up is the nanahara family alliance you have here shinatsu Shifuyu, and you have here Nayuka Minato. So th this will be a rerun, um, and they will be uh, usually in separate banners. So again, plan ahead, guys, if you want to summon for them. And last is for October 6th. We have here a rerun of uh, Yen Sheng, which actually st she's still active now. So if you guys had didn't summon for her, good, because she's going to have a rerun. Um, and we'll also have another rerun for Karen Wong as well on October 6th. So that is it for a lot of banners that you'll be getting. So um, plan ahead, guys, because we're going to have a lot of banners soon. Two new units to discuss. And let's go to them right now. Okay, I'll save uh, 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 our Awakened unit for the last one. So let's go to Janus first. So... Janos or Janos is going to be a mech at four costs. He's going to be very good because he actually transformed from a ranger to a defender. So Janos starts as an airy ranger, but when his HP falls below 50, he transforms into a ground defender type unit. Thanks to its um, universal unit that can adjust to battle, which is a popular pick in all game modes. So again, it's a worthwhile investment for all the mech users out there. The PvP score, PvE score is a 10 out of 10, so widely used in all of the game modes. So very versatile unit. Shines in Shadow Palace as well, once we get Shadow Palace. Next would be at PvP, so a great addition to mech teams. You pair Janus with Coffin 6. And Coffin 6 hasn't been released yet, and its special attack can do one-third HP of an SSR ship in one shot. Okay, it, it in the past, Janus was used in all teams and replaced... Rosalia as the go-to air ranger, but now it shines mostly in mech team comp. So, um, well, for me, I can get, I can get him, um, as long as I save enough, especially for my main account. So, if is he worth pulling? Yes, he's future proof. If you're not a mech fan, so more or less just skip him. But again, again for me, for my main account, I'd like to have. All of the units um, available so that I could have the variety. So again, for his skill set, let's go to his skill set. So, fires an energy cannon, inflicting AOE damage on and around his target. After transformation, swings its energy arms instead of inflicting AOE damage in front. So, passive is going to be activates its transformation system in case of emergency. When deployed, its defense is decreased by 90%. When its HP drops to 50% or lower, transforms to a ground defender with full defense, but 50% lower attack and crit. So very useful. Um, very, um, uh, what do you call this? Um, it's going to be a glass cannon earlier, but when HP drops, he turns into a defender. So again, pretty much very good mech. Fires a high-powered energy beam, inflicting AoE damage on ground and... Uh, and around its targets after transformation shoots an energy sword inflicting aoe damage in front forcing enemies to attack it for five seconds as a defender so at level five cooldown is at four seconds this is going to be special and his passive is going to be upon transformation cast a bar equal to maximum hp and becomes immune to hit stun from special or lower skills for its barrier duration at skill level 5, bar duration, damage taken, minus 30 from rangers and immunity to stun. Okay. Again, a very good compliment to all your mech comps out there. But this is the one that we've been, you know, looking forward to. So another awakened SSR for us to have. So this is going to be Seo Yun. Her cost is going to be 60. Um, she's going to be a ranger in a counter so very top tier kr pvp score is off the charts at 12 slash 10 
Uh, she's a force of nature in PvP, PvE. If you don't have her, you're basically playing the game on hard mode. So I, I believe so. A Yuna plus A so Yun can duo Shadow Palace 5. So again, she's a very compliment to A Yuna. She reached band 4 as second unit after A Yuna, but it took her a month after release. While Yuna needed the three, so her counters healing, her her special counters any healing based teams, and Abraham use her. So when they when they match up with her, they cry. So someone has Sion as their leader. So if she's worth pulling for, of course she is. So basic attack, single the target in front of various firearms. Um, Arms synchronization is her passive, so increases skill cooldown by eight seconds for all enemies. <laughs> oh my god, this is going to really hurt. Um, in a seven meter radius, uh, it's going to hurt when deployed. So after every third basic attack, she delivers an enhanced attack, summons up to four telekinetic rifles, and increases her telekinetic rifle attack by five percent for twelve seconds. Up to 25%, these telekinetic rifles take damage for her. Siyun moves forward when her HP drops to 70 or below, knocking surrounding enemies backward in her facing direction and summons a additional telekinetic rifle. At level 5, passive evasion is activated again if HP drops to 40% and below. That is a really long passive and really packed. So guys, you better save up. As early as today if you've saved up then good I'm actually now at 1500 um, uh, classified recruitment contracts so I think I'm good but I still need more I think and it's going to be a week guys so I think I'm going to be short I hope I don't pity her banner uh, like the previous banner um, not the previous banner the previous one a Unia, uh, for a Una, I did pity her banner so Anyway, Divine Slash special 21 seconds um, swings Mistel, Mistel Tyne, Missile Tyne. Inflicting AoE damage on enemies on, in, on front. The affected enemies can recover HP for 9 seconds. And in Gauntlet, they receive as much damage as their healing amount. So goodbye healing. She's going to be a headache. I tell you. For those teams on Reliant on healing, then she's going to you know crush you. Decide, 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 cleaver, ultimate, 52 seconds, concentrates enemy into miss, missile time, and throws in a straight line, affecting AoE damage multiple times. The first attack randomly uh, removes one non permanent buff and summons a telekinetic rifle after this attack. After level 5, special and ultimate skills, also active, passive. Okay. So there you have it guys so more or less we're going to have a lot of fun for the next uh, few weeks up until the first week of october new banners um rerun banners new event new awakened uh, awakened ssr what can we have oh, no what can we ask for it's all going to be here and i wish you guys good luck on your summons and always guys take care but before that, um, since you're here, might as well uh, consider subscribing to my channel. Also, please put a like to this video and don't forget, click the bell icon so you don't miss any counterside videos. Again, guys, take care, stay safe. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.